Hello, I'm Sebastian Berwick and I would like to present to you It's Britney Bitch by Sergei Meingart for MIDI keyboard and video. What I want to talk about is the title of the piece, uh, the aesthetics of the audio and the video and how it's technically made, and then we will see a little snippet of the final video. It's Britney Bitch sounds, uh, it's, it's a hefty title. In fact, it is uh, the rallying cry of uh, Britney fans all over the world. The official Twitter account of the Britney fans, it's called It's Britney Bitch. Why that? Uh, Britney Spears led a very public life. Uh, she has been a child, uh, she's been a star uh, since her childhood and she had a very public uh, psychological crisis in 2008. Since then she's uh, put under conservatorship uh, of her father and it seemed like her career was over. Uh, eight months later she released her fifth album and the, the problem was how do we resurrect Britney Spears and the idea was that she would start the whole album with the slogan it's Britney bitch and therefore reclaiming her life reclaiming her career and showing that she's there so it's in no way uh, a slur it is in fact how Britney bitch came back alive and came back to the stage by making fun of her of her, of her problems before and uh, pretending that she would uh, give a booty call and so the first sentence on that record and actually the hit single and the first single of the record would be It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Next I would like to talk about the technology and what we are having here is a simple sampler keyboard. Uh, it's running contact by native instruments and the samples are taken from the video by Britney Spears. Um, so let me show you some percussion sounds. And you can hear that uh, the sounds are derived from real-world drums, from real-world instruments, but they are enhanced in such a way that they are almost hyper-real. Uh, this bass drum here is reverse, we can hear that, but also the impact is so massive that everything here is technologically enhanced uh, by the best people in the pop business, one has to say that, and so the impact of these sounds are always really uh, very, intense. These are drum sounds. Let me show you some uh, choir sounds. And finally some, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. So we can hear from these sounds also, these are obviously vocal sounds, but they are transformed in such a way that we could talk about hyper-realism. It's a, it's a completely plastic product, although on the other hand, we do hear there is still somebody behind that. Uh, we have the same thing in the video. The uh, electronics of the videos is uh, actually quite remarkable. It is one big uh, movie file and only the cursor, the marker, is jumping when I'm playing on the MIDI keyboard. So the, the MIDI keyboard is giving a signal to a max patch and then it is one movie loaded into the buffer and it will play that little snippet of movie or just a picture depending on what I'm playing.
And as you can see from the video and from the audio, it's all hyper real. Uh, we have a Britney Spears and in the video she's shiny, she's golden, she's gorgeous. Uh, she looks fantastic. Um, if we think about her personal troubles and we can see the whole, the whole thought process behind that and we see a performer who at the same time is a very real person and at the same, at the same time is presented as a, as a, as a superwoman, as, as somebody otherworldly and, and shiny and glitzy. And, we have, and so we have this connection between the sounds and the video and we have a perfect pop product. What I like about the piece is uh, I like the sound world. I do like these fantastic bass drums and that this is a totally different aesthetic sound wise from what I from what most of the other contemporary pieces that I'm playing. So I'm getting back to this piece a lot. Um, when it's a very dense program or when it's a very heady program and then I insert this because it's a totally different aesthetic. What we are seeing on stage is a man playing a keyboard and a woman dancing to it. And that's a very unbecoming uh, situation. And it is also a reflection on the life of Britney Spears and uh, on her artistry. Um, when I earlier mentioned that in 2008 she was put under conservatorship um, of her father because of her psychological problems, she is still uh, fighting against that. And, but the conservatorship has not been lifted yet and so she, uh, since all this time she is living under the control of men. Um, the man would be the lawyers and the two people sharing the conservatorship. So this is a reflection of what is actually happening in her life, that there is a man controlling her picture, her images, her moves. And so that is a, yeah, it's a, it's a mirroring uh, what's happening in her life. And it's, a, it's not necessarily a nice sight to see, and, um, but, it's a, but it is a perfect reflection on what is happening there. And uh, we will now see uh, an extract from a video that we just recorded at Deutschlandfunk. And uh, have, please have fun with It's Britney, Bitch by Sergei Meingold. Thank <laughs> you. 